Hey there, film fans. I'm Jeff. I'm Dave. And I'm John, and welcome back to the midweek episode of The Love of Cinema, a pod in which we'll challenge one another to discuss movies, both new and old, with a strictly positive critical eye. That's right. And to avoid any lazy negativity, we have decided to make this a drinking game. (laughs) Drinking game! So any negative criticism about a film while allowed is full of shit. And you're going to hear this sound. (laughs) (laughs) Because we hate those stuffy podcasts that think they know everything about movies and just want to prove it every time they do a review. So drinking game, you hear that sound. We that is what we do. We are positive film podcast. So pour yourselves a glass uh, and make it cold because that's uh, how revenge is best served. That is how (laughs) that is how revenge is best served. We are going to get into our movie of the week, but first, shout our people out. We have a beer sponsor. His name is Carlos Barroso. You can find him on Instagram. The handle is Bar 2019 That is C-B-A-R-O-Z-O-B-A-R-2019. And if you're digging this music on every single episode, the beginning of this episode, the end of this episode, it's provided by the artist, provided, I'm a little drunk, by the artist, <laughs> Dasein, D-A-S-E-I-N. You can find all that music available for free, folks. Just go to soundcloud.com forward slash Dasein dash artist and you can get this and all the other music for free follow us like us love us share us we are on all those motherfucking platforms you can find us in the show notes at the love of cinema pod except for twitter it's just at the love of cinema fuck you twitter all right let's do it let's go we have a couple recurring segments going on right now one of which is our should have seen that by now segment where we choose a movie that at least one of us hasn't seen but the others of us have that we should have seen um and we do that segment we also have a was it really that bad segment where we a positive film drinking podcast i think i said that in the correct order (laughs) we have to try to prop up a movie that is supposedly bad um cats was our first one of those it was really really difficult for us but we did our goddamn best for instance just as an example (laughs) and if you want to suggest a film for one of those you can go to our link tree yeah, and have fun drinking with us and hear what we have to say about this supposedly bad mm. movie as we try to prop it up. But that is not what we're up to this week, people. So let's get right into it. Our movie is about a martial arts master who agrees to teach karate <laughs> to a bullied teenager. That is right, people. We have gone into the sports movies category. This movie is direct. I'm, I'm going to have to stop you there. That 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 is not what this movie is this about. Movie is, this movie is directed <laughs> by an Oscar winner. The, what what, uh, what what are you talking about? <laughs> Let it, let it, just let it happen. Okay, let let's it happen. let's, yeah. let, uh, tell, let's tell let the fan verse understand what, what's Wait, happening let, here. Okay, Live on the Love of Cinema pod, I our co-host Jeff took happens. three weeks off, and then he came back and he watched the wrong movie. <laughs> That's exactly <laughs> oh, what fucking do happened. Do I have a dun 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 button? No, I don't. Oh Sorry. my god, I'm just gonna do <clears throat> Jeff. <laughs> Jeff's even like you say he's off camera. He's just swigging whatever's left of that beer. What happened, Jeff? <laughs> oh my goodness! You know what's so good about that? What's really good about this, folks, is that before we took a break, but after recording our last episode, to confer that we are not going to discuss the movie that Jeff was just about to set up, since he watched the wrong one, and we started recording this one, and he starts sending it Jeff's off gone anyway. rogue. Jeff's gone rogue. <laughs> I had. I I have never taken more notes than I have on 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 the Karate Kid. I, I, I all I want to do is <laughs> all I want to do is talk about how director John B. Avildsen won an Oscar for Rocky, and then he directed Rocky Five, and everybody went, "Oh, sorry, never mind," and they canceled him. They didn't cancel him for any scandal. They canceled him because the guy who directed. Yeah, no, that's um, fair. Okay, folks, if you're questioning if you're on the right episode. For Brian Andrew Mendoza's new Netflix release, Sweet Girl, you are on the right episode. Yes. <laughs> Believe it or not. Jeff is not. <laughs> we are going to be talking Guys, about that. <laughs> I have pages of notes. I-, I called the bullies in this in this movie the Gro- the the Droogs. 
like clockwork. I was ready to go. Like I had we will so get many to good... it. We'll get to it. Like it's right. a, we're, so we're, the, not gonna waste, one, we're not going to waste. We're not going to waste you. Yeah. That's Chronic for that. Kid available on <laughs> Netflix. Glorious day okay. We're get there. Um, Jeff, what do you say? What do you say to just like kind of moderating Sweet Girl? I kind of want to hear you talk about a movie or ask us questions about a movie you've never seen. Wait, before. can I just say this really quick? Hmm. Yeah. So to everybody, when you say like, I want to go on vacation and I just want to avoid social media so I could just be on vacation. <laughs> but you have a podcast that promotes its content on Facebook where your co-host Dave Green of Australia comes and every single week he puts a poster together and advertises it. Maybe it's not so cool to be off social media. No, it's okay. It only <laughs> takes 28 minutes to render. What's so it's fucking <laughs> funny is that the, the fight... Uh, I, there was, okay, so Sweet Girl, which is available, <laughs> Sweet Girl, oh which God. is available on Netflix, is a burdened with action cliches and tripped up by a late plot twist, Sweet Girl wastes a potentially resonant story and some... S- Oh, no, no, no. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit, shit, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah. oh, this is so good. Whoa. This is getting better and okay. better. Okay, can I just, first this of all, let's, so before we even good. get into this, can I clarify, <laughs> we, we are not going to blow the twist of this, right? <laughs> Uh, Don't talk we to will me. eventually. Okay, we okay. will get to Dave. Dave, you tell them there's a twist, you motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> there's no twist I don't wanna, in this movie. I don't wanna, we, we recall yeah. that. At the Love Zone of a Pod does not own any. <laughs> Honestly, uh, there uh, we don't know what you're talking about. Go ahead and just pretend that didn't happen. We will get to a place in the episode as we always do, where we tell episode. you spoiler alerts. We will like tell you when their spoiler alerts the right come, movie. and we will talk about it. All right. So you. Okay, so I'm just going to moderate this because you guys, I bet you have really good takes on this movie. So, Dave, I actually, mm-hmm. you, now that I think about it, you texted me about this movie. And I went, why did Dave, maybe Dave just loves Jay, Jason Momoa. And that's why he did some extra work this Well, week. I do. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I will happily. Should I set this motherfucking movie I will movie happily up? Should moderate I set this Sweet movie Girl. Up? But, John, go ahead and, and set this up. John I'm so set excited this up. to hear about this. All right. So this came out, this came out last week. Uh, it's also available in theaters, I'm pretty sure, but I think it popped August 20th. It is also on Netflix, folks. Uh, if you want to check it out, it is ready to go for you. Jason Momoa stars in Brian Andrew Mendoza's feature film, Sweet Girl. Here's the little IMDb blurb. A devastated husband vows to bring justice to the people responsible for his mm-hmm. wife's death while protecting the only family he has left. So I mentioned Jason Momoa. It also stars... Uh, Isabella Merced. Merced. Yeah. Um, Merced. I just I just want to point out that that it's not entirely accurate. The the description should read Aquaman and Dora the Explorer MMA fight their way yeah. through Big Farmer's mercenary army. <coughs> Wait, that sounds uh, awesome. Mm-hmm. Honestly, so let's give it. Let's give it. Ready? Here's they, here's, I like the real, here's the movie. real. Movie. I want to watch Dave's yeah. movie. Well, it's the same That's movie. Basically what it is? Yeah, here's the real blurb, folks. We'll, we'll take you a little bit longer without giving away any information uh, yet. We will talk about some some spoils a little bit later, as we always I don't do. Know. Spoilers. Maybe we should get uh, right to this movie. <laughs> I don't know. So there is a there is a uh, a situation where they have a lovely family, and then classic: the wife, the mother, Jason Moe's wife, her mother. They uh, she gets sick. They can't afford the treatments. There is a possibility to have an experimental treatment, but this giant pharmaceutical company that also already has the treatment, which is, I think it's a pill form, actually. They block the generic pill or the generic treatment from getting to the market because they want to dominate it. So they can't afford the real treatment because it's so expensive. And they basically, they get caught up in this situation where Jason Momoa, this actually happens, is in the exposition. He vows on television, he calls into an interview on like a CNN style show where they're interviewing the CEO of the uh, pharmaceutical company and says, if my wife dies, I'm coming to kill you. That is literally the setup of this movie. He threatens the CEO's life. He threatens revenge if that guy is the reason why his wife can't get the treatment and she yeah, passes I, away. I, Not yeah. spoiler alert. I feel like she they dies took a liberty and there shit too. goes crazy. Yeah. They, they, they took, took a some liberty, liberty with reality there. Like if he if if he made a threat like that on air, the media would have haunted him down immediately and turned his life upside down. No, they, like, they, would turned yeah, yeah, down yeah. they would have turned him down. They would have they would have put a microphone right in his fucking face, and they would have said, "I like this guy." Let's go. Yeah, let's, let's take him on. Is, yeah, because that'll generate some news stories, fucking media. I'm going to stop there and speak for all of the people listening who haven't seen this movie and say, 
That is such that is such a good premise. That, that's actually because you want relevance, but you also want a little crazy. Like Taken, we love the the premise is so like timeless that we fucking love it. That is like Taken, but 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 you could kill Milo, whatever the fuck his name is, I, by I the once, end of this movie, and that sounds awesome. I Why is it that used... Netflix movies always <laughs> fuck this up? I, Why no, do Netflix I, movies always fuck this I up? I once I once used the I have a unique set of skills line in a job interview, and I got the job. So. <laughs> I don't know what you were applying for, Dave. <laughs> I don't know what you were so applying So basically, for, let's keep okay. walking it through because we are going to try not to ruin this movie because, as Dave said before, there is a unique kind of twist on this tale, but we're going to talk to you as oh, though it's a linear plot. And you, you should watch me. it to find out for yourself. We will spoil it probably at the end because you have to kind of talk about it you, to talk about this movie do, entirely. I guess, yeah. Okay. The, you know. like, but anyway, so Jason goes on this you know, crusade, basically. <laughs> is his name Jason in the movie? After she passes or is this away. Just, just, Jason Momoa. Yeah. No, but like, I, what's, it, what's his name in the movie? His Aquaman. name in the movie is Ray <laughs> Cooper. Ray Cooper. Yeah, I mean, quite literally, it does. You know, it's kind of hard not to think that. Ray but Cooper's a good generic a white guy. Every man, he's a real every <laughs> man. He does have some like martial mm, arts. Honestly, he does have some that. martial arts backgrounds. <laughs> he starts to do enormous amounts of obsessive research on trying to figure out a way to get close and track down the CEO so that he can tell him to his face that you killed my wife. It's unsure at the beginning. They do a pretty good job of of trying to let you know, like, is he actually trying to murder this guy or does he just want to hold him accountable somehow with a conversation? Yeah. Does he want the apology? Okay. So the, the, lynch, does, the linchpin yeah. from this is like a reporter contacts him to say, I've got a story and I want you to be part of the story. And he like goes through all this rigmarole to meet this guy on the train and then out of fucking nowhere this movie just escalates it goes from like naught to 100 in five seconds because like the reporter gets absolutely killed on the train and then there's a total fucking fight they like this is this is a really interesting take on a conspiracy theory like a conspiracy theory film does like this is exactly how it should work they wrap up the inciting incident about 40 minutes in and you've still got questions that need to be answered and you've still got a, pl- a plot that needs to advance. But like th- the thing that started all this is wrapped up 40 minutes in this film. And I, I kind of yeah. dug that. That is cool. Yeah. It keeps going. As you can imagine, Literally the opposite uh, of a net, our last movie that Jason, we did. yeah. Jason and the daughter <laughs> hit some obstacles. Uh, the this, movie's, this movie's wrapped up before a net starts. <laughs> That is uh, true. But basically, it keeps going. It, it keeps going. Uh, they, they after this initial like brutal killing of the reporter, you think some things have changed. We're not going to talk in detail just about that yet. But they keep going together, father and daughter, further and further away from society as they're kind of half running to stay mm. away from the law that is after them, and half trying to get further and further to the heart of who was actually behind some of these shady business deals and who is actually behind the assassination of that reporter. So it actually turns into a slightly other conspiracy too. There is pharmaceutical yeah, companies, there's growing. politics involved. I haven't seen, it does keep kind of growing. I haven't seen something like this since like the Pelican brief. Or it's a, you know what? I, I, so we've talked about this before, or something sure. like that. Like this, this has missed, not been done in yeah. a while. I miss the old thrillers, man. Uh, I don't know what the budget on this was exactly, but I've said it before. I Probably definitely miss like those nineties, yeah, probably. I'm, I've missed those well, 90s style it. thrillers. <laughs> um, this definitely, you know, it's Jason Momoa. So there's a there's a good amount and, of action. I mean, it's not Isabel, Harrison Isabel Ford is not running doing from too people. Bad either. It's, like she she was she's a, been in a she couple is, of really good big blockbusters. Not Sicario yeah. two because that was just horrible. But oh come on, okay, well, come on. But there is a lot of fighting in this too. It is a uh, the martial arts is is very it's much a that part she was a of this. It's not like. <laughs> yeah, it's like MMA style, as Dave was saying. There's a lot of like what looks to be like slightly more realistic, like throwing and punching fighting from Jason Momoa. She is, you got to suspend your relief a little bit for her. She is a very small little person and she beats up gigantic men throughout this movie. So there yeah. is some, there is I mean, a little it, bit some of that that you well, got to kind of like, just accept. The but, setup of this is really good. They, like they set up so well. It's like, it's so brutal because they don't pull any punches. Like this is, this is farmer at its worst. And you want that CEO dead. Yeah. You really like you're do. on board. And, yeah, and, and even you do. And yeah, I think what this movie like taps into that it's, it's, is essential for these kinds of movies. Because unlike those, a lot of those 90s thrillers aren't really dealing with the everyman. They're dealing with like, just to use Harrison Ford, in a lot of his movies, he's playing a doctor or mm. a detective or a yeah. lawyer or a, you know, he's somebody who has a, 
Give yes, me back my family. In society. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this guy is the, this is totally like the poor kind of average Joe uh, who really can't afford to have, he has no status. He's invisible. If he wasn't this gigantic, you know, beautiful man, yeah. he would be truly physically invisible because he just doesn't have any status in society. So it is I mean, very, everyone it does, looks up it, to him because I have no fucking choice. He's into, like six, seven. <laughs> yeah. And I'm not, so I'm not gonna lie. I did want to ask you about, I did want to ask you guys, uh, Jeff, I know you haven't seen this, but Dave, there was a little bit of, I was a little uneasy because it was tapping into the, the working class rage that I think is fueling a lot of the, you need it. This is set the terrible pe- split in society right now, though. It's like this movie was talking right at people who don't trust companies and don't trust the government and have conspiracy theories and think they can track down pharmaceutical CEOs and murder them and think they can track down politicians and murder them. It made me a little uncomfortable. That was like, okay. as much as I, mean, I like I wanna, this genre I, of film. Okay, I want to throw this back to the like the video game and the Dun- Dungeons and Dragons argument back in the 80s and 90s. Like everyone was like, oh, these people who play violent video games, like they're, they're going to go out and they're going to shoot people. That's okay, that's bullshit, cool. If way. you do that, there's already something fucking wrong with you. It, that's been proven to be bullshit anyway. Yeah, it was people absolute in Japan bullshit. And South, people in Japan yeah. and South Korea no, 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 play no, no. way yeah. more video games yes, than but this is, they don't. But this isn't the inverse of that. I'm not saying a movie came out like this and I hope that kind of thing doesn't happen. I'm saying we all have lived through the past four or five years yeah. and we have seen how angry these people are. So it just makes me a little nervous that they leaned into it so heavily. That being said, I'm trying to talk about it without talking about it. We have to talk about the spoiler to actually discuss. All right, this is a I major say- spoiler, so I'm turning on the spoiler alert for the video as well. Yeah. And before you, before you, before you put to the spoiler, I think it's also important. And this is just from me googling this while you were talking. But this movie set in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Yes. Pennsylvania, yeah, as you yeah. know, is is a is a very it's one of it's one of the states in American politics right now. So you have a lot of people that that truly believe the complete opposite of what everybody else truly believes. And Pittsburgh is also <laughs> yeah. a city that was specifically pointed out when we left the Paris Agreement, where they said, I care more about Pittsburgh than I care about um, Paris. It, other, yeah, other country. Uh, yeah. Because Pittsburgh, because Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh is still this. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not signing that agreement that takes care of Paris. Yeah. yeah. Um, so yourself. so anyway, this is, I think, the fact that they chose Pittsburgh, yeah. and it's, it's realistically shot in Pittsburgh, back to your argument about the, the economics of this. Yeah. And it is, and it is, and they really do. It's not a Silicon Valley story. It's not like Silicon Valley is stealing us. This is in where people actually experience these politics, and they have to choose. Yeah. And I think that's cool. Experience the politics, and they filmed it in such a way that the city is definitely a character, which is fun yeah. when you see the not popular cities get used to Every, everything is realistic uh, Chris, except for the yellow cab yeah yeah I forget. Except for the yellow cab. <laughs> yeah chris nolan and other people have filmed their stuff in pittsburgh but tried to make it seem like another city yeah. like this is shamelessly pittsburgh and it's fun it's set there it does feel grounded Actually, in that way well, even though again we, you're watching talking like about these the filming? heightened martial arts while we're talking about the filming it was interesting because this was shot on an ari alexa lf which everyone is using at the moment it's like a large frame camera like and it's interesting to see how it performed in some of the what I assume was practical light setups they used in like the subways, because they called in a lot of yeah. favors to get access to these. They couldn't install lighting, so they used practical light, and it was very interesting to see like because like one of the things I I hated about the earlier Netflix films when they were doing Netflix originals was the fact that they just kind of splashed light everywhere, and everywhere. this this, everywhere, this one kind of so yeah this one yeah. kind of re- relied on a lot of natural light on an Ari camera and it was very interesting to see how it performed um very appropriate it needed yeah. to be grounded technically for yeah, this, this to this, be pulled it just, off it just yeah. made it a little bit more real like when we got to the twist we're about to talk about i had no fucking idea this was coming so can we? Should we do it? Let's do it. Jeff, I've, I've turned the massive spoiler mind? alert on. Everybody else, yeah. spoiler just, alert I'm is just on. Picture, so just stop it. I'm picturing Dora the Explorer kicking a whole bunch of ass. But go ahead and spoil. You're basically right. Okay. So, so this so, movie opens with Jason Momoa on top of the Pirates Stadium. Yeah. And he, the the cops are surrounding him. They're like, "Don't jump off! Like, don't do it! Don't do it! Come down! We can talk about this." And he's like, "It wasn't supposed to go this way." And then he just fucking runs and jumps into the river. And you, th- and then it cuts away, you know, and it comes back to another scene. So this movie, about halfway through, maybe almost two thirds, but it's, there's a lot of movie left after this twist. Yeah, happens, yeah, it's about forty minutes. Which left. is why we have to talk about it. Yeah, we have to talk about it. He finds his way after he realizes he he leaves the okay, town. Okay, stop, you know, stop, stop! Everybody, scene. stop! Go and watch this movie and come back this point sure 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 yeah. sure yeah yeah really really don't listen to us because we're going to ruin it for you um he comes back he finds his way in linear fashion back to that point 
where he thinks he has to come back to the city. He's running from the cops. He gets up there and they're saying, don't do it. Don't do it. And the cop who has a, who has up until this point had a relationship with the daughter because she's getting her on the phone and stuff. Isabella, she has her on the phone. And while Jason is on the lam and the daughter is with him, the cop is mostly talking to the daughter, trying to get her to convince her dad to come in. When they're in this scene, the cop starts talking to Jason about the relationship she has with the daughter, but in a first person relationship. And then they twist it and reveal that Jason died in the first in the initial half an hour assassination of, of the reporter. Yeah. So you've been watching about two thirds of this movie thinking that Jason is kicking all this butt and he's doing it. But this is actually the girl's revenge story. Both of her parents got killed. She has a she's she basically split her personality crazy. in the middle and it's <laughs> yeah. yeah. That like, identifying so there, yeah, with the dad. There's a fun there is a fun psychological it, element like, to it. The funny, the there fun, is a fun the, physical. Yeah, the best part about it is there's there's like signs all the way through. If you go back, knowing what you know and look, like the punch, the sensing. punching bag yeah. sequence, and all of that sort of thing, it's it's all there, and it's such. There's a, a cool. They like, do. This they is do like a good job. this is like M Night Shyamalan at Sixth Sense. You're right. This is nobody saw. I don't think anyone saw this coming. It's fucking amazing. Well, I twist. will say, I, I remember there. You can notice some things that are like really like. Again, you have to just put on your cap here. A a what is supposed to be like a fifteen or sixteen year old girl beats up gigantic bodyguards. Like 18. especially when She's you realize 18. it wasn't Jason that it was supposed to be her the whole time, like like enormous men. She, apparently she's kicking their ass. So it's a little unbelievable that way, but they do do a cool job where in I didn't most find, of the fight scenes- Because I've seen 18-year-olds that can kick some hold on, ass. Hold on, <laughs> Come on, dude, give me a break. No, Those not guys, even If kidding. they had hit her one time, they would have been knocked out. I don't fucking believe no, I'm not going to believe no. that realistically, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Jason, they do a really cool thing with the fight choreography where men who are still big men, but they're not as big as him, they throw him around. Like his body- Clearly, the way they create the stunt work, he gets thrown easier That's than fair. you think he yeah. would. He takes punches harder than you think he would. So when they do That's make the cool. twist, you do kind of realize that, like, of course, she's getting her ass thrown around the room. She's getting hit harder than, you know, mm. as, as hard as she would yeah, get Yeah, because I, I so do remember having that twist, thought, kind of like, I thought he'd be tougher. Like, they're, they're playing yeah, was, him not as he tough fights as one guy who's, yeah. and, He fights one yeah. guy who's half his size at one point, and that guy throws him all over the room, and you're like, what is he doing, Jason? Punch him once and end this fight. But so it's fun. It builds the tension. But anyway, let's keep going, Dave. So that's the twist. The movie takes off from there and she finishes it. She tracks down the rest of the people. You're following her story. It gets very bloody. It's on the it's the initial assassin, it's politicians, it's the pharmacies. It's her on the like completely on the lamb on her own, taking down everybody. So you gotta kind of put on that fun cap of wow. this is not realistic. A girl probably couldn't do this on her own. These are very high level people. But if you're ready to have some fun for a violent thriller, I disagree. This had a good twist. I disagree. And it was, it was I, fun to I follow. Know some, I, I said, we have some I, conflicts here. I know some 18, 19 year old stunties that would kick your fucking ass. So, yeah. Yes, like, Dave, they would kick my ass, not a fucking 6 8 body. Go- Come on, dude, give me a break. Yeah, but <laughs> hey, it you doesn't s- matter, though. It doesn't dude, matter. Like Roadhouse rules. You take out the knee, anyone will drop. Isabella Merced, is <laughs> We've that her? We've done name? Roadhouse. She is five. Yeah. She is five foot one. Yes. And yeah, give me, perfect give me shot me. for the knee. <laughs> I'm just looking at the Google images here. I'm going to guess left pounds, which does not mean that she cannot. Yeah, it, it okay. probably means wait, wait, she can't. Let's clarify. She's five foot fight, one yeah. and pissed. If I want, to, yeah, no, I'm not. I'm, I, I, she is insane. I, I buy the premise. I'm in. I think it's. Yeah. I think it's cool. I think it's. I, like I, I remember thinking just before the twist when she's like there, he's in the diner and he's talking to the assassin, um, and it like they're they're having a conversation and he he's like, ah, uh, he, he calls out Rachel and he's like, Rachel, I'll see you soon. And the look on her face, I was like, "Oh yeah, she's killing him." It was like the straight look on up. his no. His the look face. on her face when he talks to Rachel directly. Oh, the, when she looks yeah. when he looks past her, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And right, I so, was like, so "Yeah, now she's that we have, him. Uh, so, so Dave, give me. We just talked a whole bunch about like setting up and kind of explaining, but but I, I think I know how you feel. Did you did you love it as much as the feeling I'm getting from you? Did yeah, you love all? Of I this? did love all this. I I, I mean it. I, I, at points, it was a little slow, but I, did, I didn't mind this at all. And also, like, the fact that they were able to pull off this twist and pull the wool over my eyes, I that was good for me. Um, that, like, because I actually have a note I've written here, which was, like, the chase was a little long for something. Like, the chase through the stadium of him was a little long for something or, we already knew happened. And then they pull the fucking twist on the roof, and I'm like, I take it back. That was a motherfucking twist. 
like there was a reason it happened because like when the cop steps out she says something different and i'm like right. that's not what she said before if they fucked up and it was like no they haven't fucked up reality is not what i think it is it was a it yeah. was an absolute fucking masterful like the writing in this is really good I will take it's a reality where I will a, take a five a foot one couple of us, I will take a couple of it like I take a couple of exceptions. Um, it irks me when people remember phone numbers without writing it down. Okay, I know, especially nowadays. Yeah. Especially, I mean, right? I can, like I, dude, I can remember three <laughs> numbers tops, and then I've been, I'm, I'm I've been to dating, look back at the notes. Like I've been, no. da- I've been dating Chloe for two years. I got four numbers. I was really happy about it. I got four. <laughs> that's incredible, too. Yeah, that's such I was a like feat. three one dude. five. Nine? Okay. Sorry. And she was yeah. like, "Yes." <laughs> Sorry. I like. I. I have a phone where I have to fill in my wife's phone number. I'm opening the phone. I'm pulling up their contact. It's. It's just not happening. So yeah. I, I like anyone who remembers a phone number. It's like respect, but also no. No. It's also like, why yeah. are you putting that also, mental energy towards that, men, not something else? The hitman in this film really lacks subtlety. The hit like, man, like the main assassin, both or just of them, the other, all of them, oh, the, the, like yeah. the they like. The first one just like stabs the fuck out of a guy on a train. Yeah, it's brutal. The second one come like the second and third one come into a populated hotel and try to assassinate them in the hotel. Like just hide the bushes, yeah. wait till they leave. You don't need to come in the hotel. So that's my so if there's a lot right, of witnesses. So, so yeah. So I mean you can and you can have fun with that. So this is just me saying from my own taste. I think the only thing that I was a little frustrated with was that the first the exposition of this movie is is definitely set in realism it obviously it gets heightened when he's on the phone on the news like you said if he says i'm going to kill you like they, they would have arrested him then so i, I knew yeah. like okay this is not totally realistic but the style does become more melodramatic and much more heightened it moves away from realism when the the revenge and the fighting kicks in so my, and my favorite thing about psychological conspiracy thrillers is that I'm not saying they have to be done the way they did in the 90s, but I think the best ones work because they're so realistic because people can relate to the the stress uh, that these people must be under under those crazy circumstances when nobody believes them. That's basically what it always is, right? Nobody believes yeah. me. And they're running from cops in very realistic ways. This, if my only critique was that it's just, it's so grounded in stuff that is not realistic for most of the movie that it kind of turns into a fighting movie, which is... It's okay if you know that. I wish, I, as much fun as the twist is, I wish it was, and I know Jason Momo is in it, but I wish it was marketed a little bit more as a as a fighting movie than a dramatic conspiracy uh, mystery. Because I don't think it's told realistically with the ingredients that usually make those movies so iconic, which is that they're so fucking relatable because mm. they're realistic. I'm know. not Jason Momoa, I just, and I'm not a a prodigy martial arts five one sixteen year old or whatever you're supposed to be. I, I so just it feel like I haven't, I haven't seen something that pulled this off quite so well in a long time. So a lot I'm, unrealistic. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give it some. I'm gonna so, give it some. Jeff, slack. ask us some questions, no, I, I would, dude. I Jeff, I ask, ask you, us some okay, fucking you questions. You guys have done a good job talking about this movie. This movie is 18 percent on Rotten Tomatoes, and it, but. Even, but 18%? Yeah, but even the audience score is 43, which is still pretty low. So just, you guys have seen a million movies. Why is it? You, I think you, it's because of what I'm saying. It started to feel a little cheesy for me because it was just so... It, it moved into the fighting, unrealism. Like, it says uh, burden with action cliches is up there, yeah. And then... Yeah, I mean, and the I'm, melodramatic dialogue became like really overdone. But they really said the, the plot twist was late, but you guys made it seem like the plot twist came at a pretty a- appropriate time. I mean, it is late. It's later than you think it would be. Yeah. For, so considering I she's mean, our protagonist, I, and we, you know, we think it's him. I so give it be, some it's slack because, because of, I, it's because of sitting at home. We expect things to 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 grip us sooner. You know what I mean? Like, well, let's put it this way. I was watching this with right, my girlfriend. We'll come back to David when in a second. he when he uh, at the all right. Let's just say again, we're in the spoiler section. So in that very first assassination of the reporter, uh, Jason Momoa. His character, the girl, gets thrown and thrown around and she kind of bumps her head so she's kind of out of it. And Jason Momoa gets stabbed brutally. And you're not sure who makes it out of that. They, the way they wrap up that scene, it kind of seems like one or both of them may have died or had a serious injury or something like that. And then when they switch it from there, this is like 15 or 20 minutes into the movie. And this is kind of a nutshell. My girlfriend says, like, I'm not watching this if Jason just died. <laughs> and I think everyone knows that the filmmakers knew that Netflix knew that we all know like this is a Jason Momoa movie why are we why did they just kill him 20 minutes into it 
So I do think that some people might be uh, okay. might be a little frustrated that like they feel like okay we're having to watch this because it's Jason Momoa kicking ass. But then when the twist comes, if you can't make peace with the fact that everything you saw was actually this girl doing it, plus the the kind of overdramatic melodramatic kind of dialogue. Mm. I could see how that would frustrate people. I could see it. Come on, let's be real. I can see how some people would say that is super cheesy and Some people could say that. I didn't. I thought it was okay. Yeah, I did too. I thought it was okay. Honestly, I wasn't mm. upset enough where I was like, this is I, annoying I, I was just, I, I still watched like, the whole thing. Having gone, like, right, having gone recently and seen old, I was impressed that someone can still pull <laughs> off a twist. Oh, yeah, good point. Good point. <laughs> so your bar was super low. No, 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 no. This was this was a fun twist. Even if you kind of felt it coming into it, you still realize it's one of those twists that I kind of saw it coming, but I didn't care because it was so... For me, it was early enough in the movie where I was like, this movie isn't about the twist only. They have 40 minutes of movie left. So I was mm. excited to see what they were going to do yeah. with her. When yeah. she runs and jumps off that thing and her whole movie begins, basically, you get to see her take the rest of this journey alone. I was more interested in that. And I guess I wish they would have done... I, I really wanted them to... I wanted them to move away from the action melodrama that was Jason Momoa's protagonist film. And I wanted her to be much more realistic. I wanted it to turn on the style. I wanted it to get a little bit more grounded and gritty because I didn't, now I know it's one her. One thing I really and didn't that like. that was all something that wasn't necessarily true. While we're, like the way it was while told, we're in super wasn't, spoiler territory, one thing I didn't really like was the, uh, the, 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 the fountain thing where she hears the voice and suddenly comes back to life. It's like I wanted her to be faking it. And it's oh, him to not exactly. hold her it's down, like, that, like dude. Yeah. and and Even then, like that. but That's like when she time. finally gets that guy as well too, like but it was it was also kind of cool because like we got the stab, and then another stab, and then those last two stabs were kind of just her having fun. Well, she's clearly violent, right? They do a good job of establishing in the early martial arts when you see her training and she hurts the guy. Yeah. She goes too far after he taps out. That's realistic. Mm. That was grounded. The guy was fighting with her and training with her, and yeah, she, she has some rage and won't yeah. let go. But yeah, like that was a perfect example. That was so, I hate to use that word, but it was kind of cliche, right? She blacks out at the end and you think she's dead and she hears Jason's voice. Get up, sweet girl. Get up. And uh, she opens her wait, eyes. Wait, wait, that's the, the title of the movie. That's what oh, the movie is the called. Oh, they said the title of the movie in the movie. Oh, is that the title of the movie We're the both movie. getting that. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So there, without those moments... I think this movie could have been better, if I'm being honest. It's still fun if you love the twist, if you love act like martial arts, it's going to be fun for you to watch. The fight scenes are good. I mean, so is we, it as fun as the Karate Kid that Jeff actually watched? No way, man. The Karate <laughs> Kid is so... I cannot fucking wait to talk about the Karate Kid next week. I cool. swear on my life. My favorite part of this movie was the fact that at the tournament at the end, they got a thousand extras to fill up the stands. <laughs> Jeff, ask us, Yeah. do you, after listening to us just rant about this movie, do you have any questions? What do you think would be fun? Interview us about this fucking thing. What do we, to ask us a question, bro. Give me, give me something we haven't already talked about. Um, Cause I feel like we're just going back and forth now. Do you see Jason Momoa's cock? Jesus. <laughs> Straight up buzzing Jesus you for that. Christ. Jesus. No, you do not. Christ almighty. Uh, yeah. Just a bulge all the okay. way through. Okay, just cool. a gigantic just Samoan. Yeah. Just curious. Just curious. Just curious. Uh, that's all I got. That's oh actually my God. everything that yeah. I have. I, I, uh, to be honest, I feel like we've covered this as much as we could. Like it was, I actually feel it was, so too. Yeah, it was, mean, it was an like it was a a good film. Seriously, the premise is incredible. Film. And most of what and it has a great we twist. As and this revenge story was the with the girl. And sorry if we ruined it for anyone, but uh, yeah, it's. I mean, it's it's a fun watch. Dave, let's talk really quickly about because we just didn't isolate it. Did you like the performances? I thought she was excellent. Again, she was no excellent. Unrealistic fighting yeah. thing, but I think she's a she was good. Oh actor. yeah, no, she, she gave a strong like, performance. She's like the daughter I, like of Sicario I, too. Yeah, she's I, the daughter yeah, that she gets was. kidnapped. Yeah, I, I bagged out yeah, Sicario too before, but she was really the fucking good. highlight of that movie. Yeah, she's like, great. Yeah, I, I mean, that. granted, I that her some, life was in some, danger. some poor yeah. bastard has to follow Roger Deakins for cinematography. So straight up, you're in trouble. And Denny Villeneuve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah uh, I thought the... Uh, <laughs> I wonder if the grips um, were like, can I just text Robert and just ask him? For, sorry, can I text Roger and ask him for some notes here? And Yeah, <laughs> this is not what Roger would do. Sorry. Uh, yeah. 
Like, no, we she, was a, she, was, she was a she was a highlight of that film. What do you think of Jason? Because I'm not gonna lie, I haven't seen any of those. Uh, I liked I, this guy, I loved Brian his Brian Andrew Mendoza yeah. or whatever. Uh, what's his name? Brian Andrew Mendoza produced. I loved Frontier and Jason's Raven. Melt- those two Netflix yeah. films with Jason Mazzola, Jason's with Jason Momoa. Jason's meltdown in the the hotel corridor. Uh, sorry, the hospital corridor was amazing. I felt for the guy. You liked that? Yeah, I felt for the guy. I. I think I would have cut it a little bit differently, but it was fun watching someone who looks like but him. But he went there. A big, powerful man, like, break. Yeah. And, like, they, they follow him around a very verite style, and he just loses after his, his wife passes in the hospital. And whenever somebody just breaks in a hospital, it's kind of hard not to look at. And that was still my favorite section of the film where it was it was very much grounded in realism. Mm. So it was fun watching him pretend to be, pretend. It was fun watching him play a, a regular person under terrible, tragic, yeah, I, regular circumstances. I, that that got me. I felt, I felt like, like he, he really pulled that off. I have a question. Yeah, I am. I'm excited to see Jeff, him continue to do more stuff like that. Yes. If, if if you found out that your significant others were dying of a terminal illness where there was a cure that they didn't release because they were trying to figure out how to profit off of it better, would you would you think about it? I wouldn't have told him over CNN, but I probably would have. Yeah, I probably him wouldn't make the phone him. call. Yeah, exactly. I, I, yeah I, I, like <laughs> an, I like an assassination to be memorable. So hey, yeah, I, I, like already, I, made, I feel like already we're off and running. And I'm not saying you <laughs> should go and kill people. But at the same time, this shit is sort of happening. So if we're not it aware of this, if you, yes. if you go to sleep at night and you and think you know that what? Milo, not Milo, Milo's the the. the What's the guy's name with the 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 AIDS drug with the Ferraris? This don't actually prop it oh, up. Yeah, you know, you know what I'm talking asshole. about. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. Jail, I, I'm guy. actually sure. He, I think he's still in jail. But anyway, yes, murder is not right. You know, we're not the. You can't be the judge during executioner. Of but, course, it, it's not about the actual. Yeah, it's about feeling like you want to hurt somebody yeah. because. Yeah, they have I, I, I would talk that. to like, people. Yeah. I, I, yeah, honestly, talk to people. And it turns out that it's actually Dora the Explorer that's doing the killing. I mean, I this the premise of this checks out alone. Like, I'm I'm, I'm very very curious. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, and I will say, Jeff, Jeff I, I think suggest you're watching it. You see it. Like I suggested <laughs> earlier in the week, you should check <laughs> it out. I think you're going to like this, Jeff. The uh, they do a good job in that scene. The guy who plays him, Jeff, you and I both like that actor, and I can't remember where else I saw him from. His name Dominic is Justin Cabisa, Bartha, Nelson Franklin, Michael Raymond, Justin, Justin Bartha. Bartha. Yeah, what Justin Bartha is he's in, a national dude? treasure. Hmm. National, national treasures. treasures, yeah, he's good. And the Hangover, they do a he's good the job. husband of the Hangover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They do a good job in the interview of he's also in Gili. He's saying. Yeah, he oh, says all no. the things that you would hear them mm, say. He makes a sincere <laughs> argument. For mentioning that film. Anyway, performances are pretty good. Yeah. All he's right. Not, I, feel, I, feel, I feel like I we've done as much as we can on this. Yeah, I, yeah. I think so too. Jeff, Guys, you going to watch this film? I've said all I want to say about this. Actually, I might because I really think the premise is good and I'm ready yeah. to see Dora the Explorer kick yeah, I mean, ass that yes. even Jason Momoa can't. That'd be awesome. <laughs> all right, you guys. Let's, uh, let's wrap this thing up. That was really fun. Um, that was a hilarious beginning. I hope you don't mind that uh, we make mistakes here on the Love can Cinema we, Pod sometimes. Can we watch, people, but we can we watch own the Karate them, Kid next we week? Own them. Yeah, can we do sure. Karate Kid next week? If we don't do it next week, we should do it soon because that movie is awesome. I took yes. a lot of notes. <laughs> I took a lot of notes. It's we on should Netflix. do that before his notes go stale. <laughs> I feel like we'll just be totally sober unless we all gush a lot because no one is going to say anything negative about the Karate Kid, right? <laughs> oh, oh, we no. need a guest that we can like punish. I'm ready to go. He 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 moved from New Jersey. I'm ready to go. This is this is like my people. I get it. <laughs> well, that was so much fun. That was so much fun, guys. Let's do what we usually do at the end of these fucking episodes. Is there anything you've been watching, Jeff? You were off for three fucking weeks. I know you didn't just watch the things you mentioned last episode. So what else did you watch? You mentioned White Lotus. Did you actually finish it? Oh, I haven't course. quite finished it yet. Of course. Oh my I, God, I watched White stop Lotus. That. I know why people are talking about it. Pretty interesting. I'm enjoy. I want to finish it before I say anything. But what do you think? Go see it, man. I I I I don't know if it stuck the landing per se. But having said that, you need to follow it. You need to see it through. This movie, this television series, six, seven episodes, six, doesn't matter. It was made for Jennifer Coolidge. She, she is brilliant. But the, the, really the whole thing, oh, she is good the whole thing checks out. The whole thing checks out. But it really is one of those comedic performances where you're like, the, the bar is this. So we, we can't keep settling for television shows that aren't that. Because Jennifer Coolidge mm. is out there. She, she, she's out there. She exists. And, and you can cast brilliant people around her. Armand is brilliant in the show. But but that's the bar. Like Jennifer Coolidge in this show is the bar. If if you're watching a comedy where you don't have a, that kind of performance, get out because like I would I would rather watch that four Damn. times. 
She's so good in this. Yeah, film. I got that. I got that kind of feeling in my stomach where I was like, I think she's gonna win an Emmy for this. I know, like, but it's know a year out. It's it, bad like, timing. So hopefully, gonna, in eleven months, no, they remember it. Hopefully, though. okay, sorry. But it's really, yeah, it is good. It's worth watching. Mm. What else did you watch? Did you were gone for so long? Any other standouts? Um, well, I, I kind of I'll hold up a couple of like the documentaries that I watched again while I was like unpacking things and stuff. But um, I watched all of the movies that made us on Netflix, and I highly recommend it for movie oh, those fans. Are fun. They're just yeah. fun. It's August, so I feel like we can still do some summery things. And that's such a good summer watch. Like, Dirty Dancing should not have sure. happened. Yeah. It shouldn't have happened. Dirty Dancing shouldn't have happened. And it made $300 yeah, million dollars at the box office. Go ahead. It's, it's a good episode. The that's that, a good the episode. That Start us. with that one, folks. Yeah, if you like that Jaws, one. Jaws, right. Dave, Forrest anything? Yeah. I got nothing. That was that was all I, like, what I recommend last week was, or earlier in the week was all I watched. Because we're packing the move. So, Yeah. Yeah, big over there. I started school this past week. I have had nothing to do other than watch these movies. So thank you so much. We are going to be back next week as usual. Hopefully all three of us since the boy, the kid. I'm, the I'm already halfway Jeffo through. Is- I'm already yeah. halfway into our... Uh- yeah. <laughs> he's, uh, he's, he's got a head start on us. Fuck you, Jeff. All right. That was thank so much fun. Thank you guys for Any other thoughts, this. you guys? Awesome. No, that was awesome. Thank you. Thanks, Thank you, yeah. Dave, for Enjoy making films. those posters check those movies out. so clear so everybody knows what movie we're talking about next week. See you later, film fans. Bye.